Hello, today we're going to look at some second grade addition and subtraction strategies with my dog Scoop. So today we're going to look at a method known as the arrow method. And what Scoop thinks about the arrow method is that if she has 37 plus 40, she doesn't have to add it all at once. She can do it in parts. So we're going to see how Scoop does this problem. Okay, so when Scoop uses the arrow method, she starts at her starting number, the first add end, 37. And instead of adding all 40 at once, we can break 40 down into four tens. So I could add 10, and I know that's only going to change my tens place, not my ones place. I'm going to add a second 10, so now I've added 20. I could add a third 10. So now I've added 30. And again, I'm just keeping track of each piece I add. Since I've added my fourth 10, my sum is 77. So 37 plus 40 is 77. Now if I'm good, I could do these in quicker jumps. I could use more on... Now if I'm good at these, I could do quicker jumps and use more on my arrow. So when I add 41, maybe I know that 40 is made up of 20 plus 20. So if I start at 37, I could add 20, and then I'm just adding 2 to my tens place. So 37 becomes 57. I can add another 20, and again, that would just add 2 tens to my tens place. 77. And since I need to get to 41, I've added 20 and 20, which is 40. And now I can add one more to get to 78. So the sum of 37 and 41 is 78. This is a lot like using your number line. And in fact, I'm going to model this strategy next. Really, your arrow strategy and your number line strategy are the same thing. So when I've seen the number line strategy done, it's very similar we start at our number that we're interested in, our first add n, 37, and now we're going to add on. And so what we can add on is, well, let me make my number line, is I'm going to add on 10. So I'm going to make a jump of 10, and I'm going to record that. That brings me to 47. Hey, this looks like the arrow method. I'm going to take a jump of another 10, 57, another 10, and notice I'm lining the number up with where my jump ends. 67, I've jumped three tens. I'm going to jump one more ten to get me to 77. But now the difference is I've added 40, and I only want to add 39, so I need to take one away, so I can jump back. So I'm actually going to jump back minus one, and that gets me to 76. So your arrow method and your number line method are really the same idea. Let's see how this works with subtraction. Okay. Instead of using, we could actually use subtraction two different ways. You can either count backwards and take away, or you can still count forwards. So let's take a look and see what this looks like with the arrow method. Okay. If I'm going to count backwards, I'm going to start at my largest number and work my way backwards. So if I start at 94, again, I'm going to work in pieces, and I'm going to take away 10 which brings me to 84. I'm going to take away 10, which brings me to 74. I need to take away two more tens. And again, I'm only changing my tens place. My ones place isn't changing at all because I'm only taking away from my tens. So now I've taken away my fourth ten, and I need to take away 41, so I've taken away my four tens. Now I've got to take away one more, minus one, and that gets me to my 53. So the difference between 94 and 41 is 53. Again, you could model this same idea using the number line. But I don't have to count backwards when I do subtraction. I could always start with what I'm taking away and count up. So this time I'm going to start at 29. But what I'm going to end up counting as my difference ends up being a different part of this problem. Well, I like to always get to a friendly number, so I'm actually going to get to 30. 29 plus 1 is 30, 
And I know I've got to end at 52, so that's the difference. Now I'm working to my ending number. So I'm going to add 10 to get to 40. I'm going to add 10 to get to 50. And I'm almost at 52, so I need to add two more. And that gets me to 52. So that's my starting number. That's my ending number. So my difference, what I've subtracted, are really all these arrow numbers. I've subtracted two tens, which make 20. And I've subtracted a one and a two, which make three. So my difference would be 23. Many different ways to do the same problem. We really want to encourage flexible thinking and multiple ways of solving a problem. So those have been some second grade addition and subtraction strategies. Thank you.